This is the Sharp MX2610 running the Papercut MF onboard application. Today I'll be running you through the basics of using the Sharp device, including authenticating, using the basic copier functions, using the print release queue and Papercut Find Me printing, as well as charging to shared accounts. We start here at the Papercut authentication screen. This screen helps maintain a secure print environment. The Sharp device supports multiple authentication methods, such as username and password, ID number, or by swipe card login. Here we have a connected card reader. I've already associated this card here with my account at the copier by using card self-association. This can be configured by your system administrator in the Papercut admin interface. If I've forgotten my card at home, I can still log in using my username and password combination or ID number. Now, by swiping the card, I'm logged in and taken into the device. All usage of this device will now be tracked and controlled by the Papercut application. Here at Papercut, we've configured our Sharp device with a secure print release queue. This can be set up by our system administrator using the Papercut admin interface. This also allows for Papercut Find Me printing, where a user can print to a global print queue and release their jobs at the MFP they log into. Papercut will display a list of my held jobs here. These are awaiting release. Here I can print all of my queued documents for express release by selecting the Print All button. If I select an individual job, I'll see more information about that document here on the right hand side of the screen, such as the name of the document, the time it was printed, and the size. If I want to release that selected job, I'll now select the Print button here. Similarly, if I want to cancel the job, I'll select the Cancel button. Now by releasing the job, Papercut will confirm that the job has been queued for printing. Here in the Papercut office, we've configured our Sharp device with the option to charge to shared accounts or departments when using the copier's functions, such as copying, faxing or scanning. To access the copier's functions, select the Copy Function button here on the bottom left hand side of the screen. If I select this, I'll now be presented with the Papercut account selection screen. The accounts available are dependent on your Active Directory membership. Here you can see I have the option to select from my personal account, an account such as English Department, History Department and Mathematics Department. I also have the option to search by code or by keyword. This is useful for fast account selection in professional organisations where there may be hundreds or even thousands of client or project based accounts. I'll now go back and select my personal account. Papercut now shows a dialogue with account summary information such as the current account balance. And now if I acknowledge this, I'll be taken into the device's home screen where my session on the device will now be tracked and controlled by Papercut. Now by selecting the copy button here, I can use the device's copy functions while all use is being charged to my selected account. Papercut will automatically log the user out of the device if it is left inactive for a certain amount of time. This is to maintain a secure printing environment. However, if you want to log out manually, select the Log Out button here. And that concludes our brief tour of Papercut MF running on the Sharp MX2610. If you're looking for more information about our embedded solutions and other products, be sure to check our website at www.papercutmf.com.